last month, Parliament announced a decision to set up a multi-party ad hoc committee to look into the funding of political parties with a view of introducing or amending legislation if it's necessary. The uh, ANC Treasurer General, Dr. Zwelliam Kize, says they've already made their submission and he joins us now from our parliamentary studios to tell us exactly what that means. Um, uh, Dr. Mkize, thank you so very, very much for joining us here on the program. Morning, Leon, and all the viewers. Uh, before we even get into politics and <coughs> funding and all of that, I, kn I know that it's a, it's, a, it's a hard day for the ANC saying goodbye to Ronnie Mumwepa after the news broke on Friday night. I'm sure, you, uh, on Saturday night, I beg your pardon. I'm sure you, you also have a message and you'd like to pay tribute to him. Thank you very much, <coughs> Leon. Uh, we would like to convey our condolences to the family. Uh, to the presidency and to all the comrades uh, on the sad loss of a freedom fighter, a friend, a comrade, uh, Ronima Mwepa. We, we loved him, and as I think you have aptly described him, he was a very you know, warm, friendly person, very professional, and we knew him as a friend. I also was a friend to his brother, Tabo, as a classmate and a colleague, so we really uh, were like family. So we want to convey our condolences to all the comrades and the family as well. It's a sad loss. Yeah, yeah, it certainly <clears throat> is. And, and I must say, it's a sad loss for the media too, because I think his relationship with us was absolutely phenomenal. We loved talking to him. So uh, deepest condolences to the party and uh, to the family and, of course, friends as well from all of us. Thank you very much. So let's, let's get to the business now of uh, party political funding. Um, remind us why this conversation about party funding is so important. Um, I, I suppose many of us can uh, assume we know why it's important, just having a look at the environment we're in at the moment. But from your perspective, why is it so important? Well, the 53rd conference of the ANC in Mangaung took a decision that instructed the uh, organization to look into uh, the reforms in party funding, which will comprise of a, a number of aspects. Firstly, an aspect of uh, regulation, and secondly, the area of transparency, and also the third part is the expansion of the party funding as a support to democratic institution on which our democracy is based. Because our democracy is based on party proportional representation, it becomes important to say that the parties <coughs> should be supported on the basis of uh, you know the state providing for them. And this helps us to deal with the possible uh, unintended uh, consequences of this uh, system of fundraising where in some uh, uh, funders <coughs> might uh, be involved in uh, processes of manipulating party policies and decisions but also to avoid corruption mm. and it, the uh, conference was very clear that the ANC has to make this uh, uh, pr uh, process to be uh, expedited because the ANC itself does need to be protected from many unscrupulous uh, uh, funders and some of the people who place themselves as fixers who would be between the party and the funders and therefore they would want to uh, create an impression that they um, are acting on the party uh, interest when in fact they are doing their own manipulative processes. And so we have felt therefore it was important to promote this uh, legislation. And I think there are countries in the world that have indicated that uh, regulating becomes important, but on the other hand, uh, also the support for uh, political parties having to come from the fiscals makes the uh, voters quite clear as to what uh, the major source of the, of the funding of the parties, but they can also peruse to check who are funding the parties. Yeah. If we make regulations around it, then I think that uh, we, we are able to meet uh, the expectations of the public. We have been to court by some NGOs who have raised this issue and we've argued that they were premature. It's a very complex matter. We've been working on this matter for the past four years at the African National Congress. Indeed. I mean, when we, when we actually look at funding, I mean, um, it actually the buck stops with you as the, as the Treasurer General of the ANC, which is, which is quite interesting as far as uh, f uh, party funding goes. Um, in your submission, um, what would you like to see changed? What do you want to see kept the same? 
Well, uh, we, we have to negotiate a number of issues because uh, we are basically dealing with a change of mindset. In the first instance, it's going to be important for us to say that there has to be some framework that allows the, uh, 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 the certain rules of, uh, you know, where can we raise the money from, uh, what areas should we not raise money from, uh, so, for example, most of our donations come from, uh, you know, uh, voluntary donors. Mm. And those donors uh, uh, do not expect anything from the ANC. And the legislation needs to make it clear that when there's a contribution, that contribution is non-transactional and that there's no expectation. Uh, it doesn't put a donor ahead of the queue uh, in a bid for a particular contract, whether in government, state-owned enterprises, or anywhere else. Uh, it must be clear that it's just a donation which is a contribution to democracy, and that point needs to be made very clear. And also, we need to then uh, uh, look at how we can uh, uh, disclose uh, the, the, those who have donated. It's a tricky issue as well because uh, uh, many uh, of the donors uh, would not like the publicity around their names, and so they tend to be media shy as well. And that's the reason why most of the time we don't disclose the names. But if everyone is known to be donating and therefore it will be transparent, we think it might ultimately create a, a, an atmosphere wherein people can freely uh, donate knowing that it's within, government, it's within the legislation to do that. And of course we need to ask that the fiscals uh, has to expand the party funding because uh, you know the numbers of people who might not want to be exposed or the others who might want to be putting uh, you know extra donations with a view to getting certain advantages yeah. those issues will affect the, pan uh, the party funding as well yeah yeah I, 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 we, we run out of time but I, but I have to ask a question I'm seeing quite an interesting article um, where it's quoting the Council for Advancement of the South African Constitution it's CASAC basically saying that urging Parliament to put a cap on donations to political parties from any one source to prevent undue influence from its donors. I know you were saying that a lot of them are donations, people don't expect anything, but the reality is, is uh, you know, it does come with a lot of burdens, and I think what's happening at the moment in the media, with Gupta email leaks, with undue influence in certain areas, it does arise. So would you agree with something like that, to actually limit the amount of party funding from one particular party? Well, it will have to be negotiated because, uh, yes, uh, we can uh, look at the limits, but I think we need a, a reasonable limit because you can't squeeze the parties, uh, have less uh, public funding and also have less private funding, uh, pri private donations. There has to be a, an acknowledgement of the huge expenses that the parties have to go through to run the machinery. Uh, at the end of the day, we would say that there would obviously have to be those guidelines, but uh, I think we're going to have to negotiate the quantums. All right, we leave it there. So, Ali, thank you very, very much for your time and talking to us here on the program. The, the extension for submissions on this public funding was, uh, uh, it was uh, extended. It was meant to be on Friday. It's moved to uh, the end of uh, business today. The uh, members of the ad hoc committee, there are six ANC members, two DA and one from the EFF, two from all the other parties represented in Parliament. It will consider the models and the means of public and private funding for political parties and then report back to Parliament by no later than November 26.